Hello, kindergarten. It is Mrs. Sharani from the Syracuse Academy of Science and Citizenship. How are you guys doing today? Well, I hope that you're doing really well. And today we are going to talk about the number 10 in math again. We started talking about it a little bit last lesson, and today we're going to work with the number 10 a little bit more and then practice writing the number 10. So we'll start off with a quick fluency game. It's a fun one. Then we will do our quick application problem. We will do our concept development which is fast and then you'll get to do your exit ticket so quickie stickies math lesson today um, if you have something to write with and write on that would be great and if you have something little to count with that would be cool too you feel like you guys always need those things huh but today we're going to be counting 10 objects and we're going to be um, writing the number 10 so that's why you'll need those things okay all right let's get started let me share my screen with you and we'll get started with our fun fluency warm-up. It's a new one that we haven't played yet before. So today I can count objects, 10 objects. I can match them with the number 10 and write the number 10. So that is our goal by the end of this lesson today. I think we'll reach it, no problem. Okay, so we're going to play this game. It's called Match Movements to Counts. So I'm gonna pop a balloon and we're just gonna do this top row here. We'll look at the number and then we're going to we're going to read the movement. So it might say something like five claps, something like that. And so we'll have to count that many claps. We'll do it that number of times, okay? All right, here we go. So we're just gonna do this top row, not this bottom row. Okay, here we go. Four claps, claps, claps. Okay, ready? Let's do four. One, two, three, four. And you do it with me, okay? Don't just watch me. You do it with me. Okay, next. Six snaps. Snaps. Six snaps. I am not super great at snapping, but you kind of take your finger like onto your thumb and you hit it against your, your hand. I'm just not the greatest at it, but I'm going to try. You try with me, okay? Ready? Six snaps. One. Two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> All right, ready? Next one. Two stomps. Okay, ready? Let's get up and stomp. Two times, ready? One, two. Good one. Seven pats. Okay, nice little pat. So I'm gonna pat my knee or my, my, my lap. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. Nice. All right, last one. One spin. Okay, let's spin together. Ready? One spin. <laughs> good one, kiddos. All right, let's get into our application problem. And we're, oh, I feel a little dizzy after that. <laughs> we're going to build a wall today. So we're going to take some bricks down here and we're going to build a row remember rows go across horizontal so let's build five one two three four five oops five all right now let's put one more row of bricks under this row of bricks one Two, three, four, five. Okay, how many bricks do we have all together? Yes, ten. Five and five is ten. Good one. All right, now if you have something to count with, get that out, and we're going to do some counting on this mat. So we're gonna put five counters out on our mat on this row, just like we just did with the bricks. One, two, three, four, five. Now let's take five white counters. One, two, three, four, five. What do you see? I see five red on the top just like we had with our five bricks on the top and I see on the top row and I see five white counters on the bottom row five on the top five on the bottom 
10 is the same as 5 and 5. Okay, now what if we made columns instead? Let's do one column of red and then one column of white. Let's try that with me. These kind of look like silly googly eyes, don't they? <laughs> they remind me of Forky's eyes from Toy Story. Have you guys seen Fork, um, Toy Story 4? I like Toy Story 4. They kind of remind me of his googly eyes. So do we still have five counters? Yeah, we have five counters in one column and five counters in the other column. We just took our map and we turned it this way. So do we still have 10 all together? Yes, we sure do we still have 10. Now, what if I put five red counters and five white counters around this bracelet? How many would I have then? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I still have ten. Five and five makes ten. Okay, now let's practice writing the number ten. I am going to get my pen out. And this is the first number that we're writing that has two digits. A digit is like just one number. One is a digit, zero is a digit. So this number 10 has two digits together that makes one number. Does that make sense? So to write the number 10, we have to write a one and then a zero. So a one first, then a zero. That's the number 10. Straight line down, then you're done. That's how you make a number one. And then there is our zero. Kind of like an O, huh? Straight line down, then you're done. That's how you make the number one. And then next, make a zero. We got it. Let's practice in the air if you don't have a pencil. One, then a zero. One more time. One, then a zero. Nice. All right, let me show you your exit ticket for the day. I told you this is going to be a fast math lesson, huh? Okay, so for your exit ticket for the day, listen carefully because there's something down at the bottom that's a little bit tricky. You're going to count the shapes here count the arrows here and then down here if you colored five squares green how many would be left not colored in hmm then choose that number all right whoa that was probably our fastest math lesson yet but it was a lot of fun you did a great job counting to 10 with me and we discovered that 10 is the same as 5 and 5. Nice work. And we practiced writing the number 10. It has two digits in it. Good work, guys. We will be back next time with a number, another super fun math lesson. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Adios.